the truth that we're all looking to get to. Ultimately, all these tests in life are really opportunities for us to hold our own sacred space. Mm -hmm. And the more we do that, the less we need somebody to approve of us because we're okay in our own skin. Well, there are times invariably, though, that people will get angry or they'll yes. be sad. Is, is there any good news in any of that? Absolutely. Because respecting what you feel has to be uh, the way to live this life because being angry and being sad as well as being mad those are all real but, but a lot of us were trained to be good little girls and boys that don't say anything and that's what causes a lot of confusion for people that people buy into certain ways of be being certain behaviors and they compromise their own inner emotional integrity to survive another situation instead of saying okay I can be mad right now and I can even be confused about what I'm mad about but the truth of the matter is is that when you sit with the emotion and you allow yourself to feel it that's the spiritual experience because you're supporting yourself in what the feeling is that also allows you to complete the moment because what we learned is well that's the bad stuff so let's go push that somewhere where nobody can see it because it's so funky I don't even want to look at it and that becomes an experience where that one moment of unfinished business every other moment after that gets filtered through that moment mm -hmm. which creates the filter to get more gunked up and that's I think a lot of what confusion is but when you allow yourself to just sit there and go okay this it really isn't fun. I'm not real psyched about what's happening right now, but I will let myself feel this. If that feeling is done in a heartbeat because you've honored it, and the honoring, the respect of the emotion is a spiritual experience. So you're activating your connection to your own God source. Well, how would you maintain a flow of self-value, for example? The quickest way to uh, ground that experience so that you stay in a flow of self-value is to merely notice what's happening. If you notice what's happening for you, it, that experience is neutral. It's not good or bad. It's not right or wrong. What no you trigger. do yeah. with the information you're noticing is where you want to pay attention.